Stay with us one more week, Crazy. I know you feel better, but you're yet too weak to embark on a journey. Thank you, but I don't want to overstay my welcome. Besides, it's time I went home. They must all think me dead there. Fred not. I'm certain they await you. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Greetings. What may I help you with this time? Morkvarg, got a few more questions. Notice I read didn't mention a curse. All who live here know of it. Could be, but I'm not from around here. Could use some information. Archpriestess Ulva cast the curse. It bound Morkvarg to the garden for all time. So even if he is killed, he returns there. Never heard of this Morkvarg. What is it exactly? Not what. Who. The worst man Skellige has ever known. He held nothing sacred, raided the lands of his own clan, took gold from Nilfgaard, murdered women heavy with child, and children he... Mm -hmm. I know the type. They said he feared but one thing, albeit secretly, the wrath of the gods. Morkvarg decided to prove everyone, himself included, wrong. So he came to Hindisvya to raid the goddess's garden. This was years ago. Archpriestess Ulva stood in his path. He stabbed her in the breast and cast her into the mud. As her blood gushed forth, she cursed Morkvarg, and he transformed into a monster. Might have already run into this Morkvarg. He a uh, werewolf? I know not. I... I'm afraid I've never seen him. Shame that. Was hoping you could tell me more about him, help me with my work. You might speak with Toradar's son, Einar. He saw Morkvarg and his men descend on the garden. He was the sole pilgrim to escape with his life that day. Settled in Larvik, you'll find him at the landing there, provided he's not at sea. Farewell. The Goddess protect you from all evil. You who grant us love, hatred, and strength. Wonder if he's as strong as he looks. Yara, you dimwit! Drop one more and I'll keel haul you! Got a minute? Prepare my boat, can't you see? Nelf Guardian dogs were to hunt us some. Got bigger game in mind. Morkvarg. Ah, oh, so them's your apples. A rate right, ask away. In praise of Freya. You were there when Morkvarg raided the garden. Heard you alone survived. True. I managed to flee. Great Mother was looking out for me that day. Mm -hmm. But she didn't give a lick about the priestesses. Apparently. Mokvarg had them bound, then slit their throats like horses for the sacrifice. And he laughed. Understand? He laughed. But Archpriestess Ulver cursed him with her dying breath. You are beastly now. Remain so forevermore. Ah, saintly woman. Didn't help the priestesses. Why not? How could I? Alone against a dozen raiders that... Why are you staring? Just wondering. You people, obsessed with honor, courage, and so on. But you just cut and run? Strange. I ain't proud of it. Since that day, 
I've been seeking a worthy death at sea. Seems the goddess, she's not seen fit to summon me. Yet. What happened to Mark Varg? Hard to believe, but fur rose through his skin, and his mug stretched forth into a muzzle like a dog's or a wolf's. He howled, long and grieving, then lunged at his men. They tried to run, but he was fast as lightning. As he killed them, clamped his jaws round their throats, they turned to ash, just like that. Ash that seeped from twixt his fangs. Not good. Curse must be complex, multi-leveled. Such is the Great Mother's power. Thanks for your help. Goddess, guide your sword. Slower. Mark broke through this door. Must have smelled something beyond it. Symbol of Freya. Untouched. No sign of feeding. Mark Varg doesn't devour his victims. Strange. Starting to envy you. Wish to hear a story. If I have to, I'm all ears. Warriors came. They knew they could not kill me. So they laid a trap. Chained me down. Lock me in here. Know what I did? I bit my leg off to free myself. Every bite uh, brought pain, uh, and howling, I vomited blood. Mm -hmm. Biting off your own limbs hurts. Who would have thunk? You don't understand. 
This was more. My mouth burned. Like swallowing fire. As if all inside me was torn. Felt I would die. But I, I did it. And then... I shredded them, dashed them to bits, uh, made tiny crumbs uh, uh, of those plowing heroes. Uh. Expect me to pity you? No, I want you to understand. Uh, uh, you cannot kill me. You cannot stop me. I'll not be bound. Break any fetters. The curse. Free me. Or I'll return to get you again. Now. Only now can I. Such is the curse. <laughs> Makes me bite, uh, scratch, mangle, uh, till I drop. Uh, you've got time before the blood's gone from me and, and I return. Listen uh, uh, carefully. Uh, undo, undo the curse. Uh, free me. Uh, finally, I will, I will reward you. Mentioned a reward of some kind. Looted. <laughs> Raided, drunk most away, all but one. True treasure, hid away, yours. Just help me. So, no joy in being a werewolf? Nay. It's the worst, not the garden to which I'm bound, even, but the hunger, anything I devour turns to ash, ash I cannot eat, I cannot drink, yet I bloody live and roam and prowl. The hunger is terrible, ah, terrible. I bite my own flesh, but the smallest morsel burns in my throat, throat, like boiling tar. Everlasting hunger. Classic as curses go. Goes to explain why all those corpses went untouched. Help, or I'll re return to shred you, rip you limb from limb. Oh. 
See what I can do. See and do, or I shall return. <laughs> Some conversation. Not interested. What will you do? What a witcher ought to. fell through the crevice years ago. 